Olori Ashley was happy and uh, all smiling as Oni of Ife complimented her as the best diplomatic representation that he have among the six wives. You know, uh, thank God he said the six wives because uh, none of them can be compared with the Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi represents the king very, very well. And that is why you always see them fight about uh, who represents the king internationally. You know, it's ever since Queen Naomi left the palace that these women started representing the kings on international location. But before now, Queen Naomi had been the one doing it. But according to what we are hearing, they said uh, among the six of them, Ashley is the best, followed by Temi Tokwe. Uh, Dr. Elizabeth, we've not seen her several, but I think I've seen her once or twice represent the king. But they say that her major problem, her major problem is that she is she has phobia for flight. You know, uh, she doesn't like flying. <laughs> and so with that, you cannot say uh, she's doing well or she's not doing well. I don't know. Okay, what brought about this whole thing is this. They said uh, anything that has to do with representing the king in UK, US, or this si or those side, that side, that uh, actually takes care of that because that is where she is. Then uh, African countries, they said Temitokwe is the one who is representing the king. There, Temitokwe too is doing well on her own, share, you know, but. When it comes to uh, do with uh, this local representation, where they will speak Yoruba, where they will not speak big grammar and all of that, it's uh, Mariam who is representing the king those areas. So, but uh, recently, them, uh, this uh, Runke too, sometimes Runke used to represent the king. Uh, the, uh, Maybe around this local local vicinities and all of that, or sometimes there was a time we heard that she went to see Uganda. Or I don't know, but the two people that represent the king best without Queen Naomi is uh, Ashley and the uh, the Mitokwe. So, but of recent, they said Mariam said that she's no longer going to be doing all this local representation. That she needs to upgrade and all of that even when she know that uh, her grammar is like my own <laughs> anyway guys i'm not just laughing you know, but it's funny somehow when you know where you fit in you want to you want to go and do a uh, rope shoulders with people that you know that they can speak better than you let me tell you about one thing about speaking it, it's not a must everybody must not speak very well me it's not as if i speak very well but I, I take my faith after all if I'm not doing well on that side there is other place that I'm doing well uh -huh. so if Mariam speaks uh, Yoruba very well and is representing the king very well with Yoruba is that supposed to be a problem it's not supposed to be a problem but because her problem is jealousy she's always jealous of everything that is her major problem that is why she will want to go and represent the king internationally but the thing is that only of Ife will not let her because from what we heard, it was during the course of this dragon, I will not represent locally again, I will not, that they said the king told them before everybody, that among the six of them, that the only person that represents her very well is Ashley, followed by Temitoba. <laughs> so to, to Mariam is a very big insult, you know, and to Ashley, I think this will give her a little hope. That there is still atom of love or likeness from the king to her. Because one thing I love so much about the king is irrespective of all, what all of these women are doing, she still give he still give them their credits. Yes, so he still respects them. He still wants to make them know that uh, you are still my wife, in as much as you don't want my happiness and all of that. But uh their character towards him sometimes. I don't know what to say, but the fact remains that the king have made it clear to them that among the six of them, 
uh, Ashley remains the best. And they say Ashley was blushing. <laughs> she was blushing because to her, mm, there is still hope. But uh, all she needs to do is to stop fighting Queen Naomi because I believe if she stops fighting Queen Naomi and be on her lane, that she will still be getting at least some level of likeness from the king, you know, but uh, you cannot compare any of them with Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi represent them better, represent the king better than all of them. Even when they accuse her of not having a degree, the king went and married someone that is not a graduate. <laughs> the, the kind of things that uh, Iyala Jodua and the rest of them did to Queen Naomi just because she doesn't have degree when she got married to the king. Uh, hey. But they never know that uh, a day of reckoning was fast approaching. And right now, uh, I'm sure if they have the if they if they have the opportunity to turn the hands of time, they wouldn't have done some of the things that they did because the repercussion they are receiving right now is something that I never imagined, and it is coming very fast. Yes, so it is coming because it's barely three years. Is it up to three years? I don't know, but let me just think. Say three years because the plan they did not start it immediately. They they did not. It's not that day that we normally left the palace that they started the maltreatment and the uh, and the plans to knock her out of her marriage. But now, who is crying? Who is now begging? Who is now losing everything? It's not good to plot evil against someone that did not do anything to you. Seriously. Because with all they did to Queen Naomi, many of them are regretting it, including this Ashley. Because the king used to like Ashley very well. It was uh, her fight against Queen Naomi that made the king not uh, showing her that love again. Before now, they said whenever Ashley returns back to the palace, the king will flex her around. The king will leave everything just to be with her until she goes back to UK. But now, Ashley will come back to the palace. Even if she like let her stay two weeks, the king might not even make out to be with her until after that three, two weeks, and she will go back. And I am asking myself, hmm, this kind of marriage, where we say your husband no go knock you from month to month, and you're even crying of having a baby. Would the baby come from uh, uh, miracle? <laughs> even if miracle, if miracle they happen, I need to go and do what you need to do. Then they wait for the miracle. Anyway, guys, when I hear this, I say, nah, wow, well, let her be smiling while it lasts. <laughs> because all the fruit that she planted, all the seed that she planted in Queen Naomi's marriage, she's going to leave, uh, rip all of them to the end. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please help me share this video. Bye for now. Love you guys.